Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Screeny. The luxury lifestyle is undoubtedly one of the most desirable ways of living, and due to this, people will do all kinds of things to get a taste of it. Considering the Dr. Phil show's purpose is helping those with issues, there's no surprise the show has seen some pretty insane gold diggers throughout its years. From abandoning their children to blowing millions of dollars, here are the most insane gold diggers on Dr. Phil. Before we begin, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos about your favorite movies and TV shows. Number 8. Ignoring Child for a Billionaire when it comes to billionaires, they're on a whole nother level in regards to being rich. They can literally get anything they want, and as much as they want of it. For the most time, this leads to everyone in their life using them for their financial gain, and Nikki is no different. She appeared on the show for prioritizing the wrong things in her life. With that said, she hangs out with older rich men at night to experience the lifestyle she could never earn herself. You may be wondering what exactly is the issue here? Well, she actually has a daughter who she handed to her friends because she didn't want to raise her at the moment. You are raising her child. Why is this your job? Well, I don't think it's our job. Their kids have always considered us part of the family. And when you see family in need, you step up and you help out. Her friends agreed to help her out for the time being and asked for just $150 a month to help raise her daughter, to which she never followed through with. It's those same nights she's seen dating a 65-year-old billionaire and boasting about her night lifestyle on social media. She posted, the posh lifestyle is so exhausting. That was the last straw for me. This is a Facebook post about when she was at the Ritz-Carlton with her sugar daddy, living the posh life. Oh, and she wasn't lying about the rich boyfriend part. He buys her everything from hair makeovers, wardrobe additions, and even a new car. Despite this, Nikki claims when he's not around, she eats one meal a day and was just evicted from her apartment due to financial issues. The absolute worst part about all this is how she explains herself for ignoring her 13-year-old daughter. Just please stop acting like this so I can come home, please, Nikki. You seem to forget that I raised you alone for the last five years. Did you know how sad I was? Because I was too busy making your life perfect. Right now, I'm having fun for myself. Number seven, leaving marriage to be a sugar baby. Working a nine to five can be incredibly mundane and financially taxing. Sometimes all it takes is piled up bills and debt to have people do the unthinkable. This brings us to Danielle and Ryan, a married couple who turned to fast and easy money to pay off their debts and student loans. This, of course, was to get Danielle to act as a sugar baby, and etc. have her go on dates with other men for money. This restaurant right here, I've met some people here, met off of a website, and you try to trick them, make them think, oh, I like you. You don't. You get your money and go. Some would instantly call her a gold digger as she's doing such things while married. However, she claims Ryan was actually in support of the decision and would sometimes help her text the men because he knew what they wanted to hear. Ryan was absolutely actively involved. He would take my phone and he would text these men for me because he said, I know what guys want to hear. You'd think them both being gold diggers would add a new bonding aspect to the relationship. However, Ryan claims he wasn't for the idea at all. That's absolutely a delusion. I've never done anything like that. I was forced into it. Yeah, no, you are not forced into it. Nobody held a gun to your head. You aren't along for the ride, going along with everything, enjoying all the money, spending it on yourself. He stated that there's levels to it. If she's making $100 a night, sure, go for it. But if she's making $1,000, there's probably more than just a dinner date that's going on. The moment this began, Ryan said he didn't want her taking on anything more than just a date. But Danielle declined and immediately filed for divorce. This woman literally ended her seven-year marriage with the father of her child so she could make a living off older rich men. Number 6. 24-Year-Old Stepmom 20-year-old Bree called into the Dr. Phil show to sort out a few things with her father. It all started one day when she walked into her living room to see a woman with her two kids. Of course, Bree was extremely confused and well, I'll just let the clip play for this one. I walk into the house and I'm like, what the hell is this woman doing in her house? I look broken in the face and I say, what are you doing here? And she looks me back and says, I live here. That's right. Her father started dating a woman with two children and had them move into the house without telling his daughter. 
The worst part? She's 29 years younger than I am. She's literally the age of what Bree's older sister could be at just 24 years old. Why would a single mother this young date a man in his 50s? Well, as you all probably guessed by now, he's spending every last dime on her. He's bought her clothes, makeup, jewelry, and he financially supports her two children. Oh, and of course, she lives in his house without having any expenses, completely unemployed. It's clear to everyone that the age gap wasn't ignored because of the romantic chemistry. It was intentionally ignored to receive all the gold she can get. Number 5. Riches to Rags Carrie used to have it all. Fancy cars, a huge home, lavish vacations. However, nowadays she's an unemployed alcoholic who can't seem to fend for herself. So I bet you're wondering what here screams gold digger. Well, that luxury lifestyle she once had was a result of her husband being a successful corporate lawyer. He was making upwards of $700,000 per year. However, halfway into their marriage, he decided to open up his own business and give up his day job. Once the money stopped coming in like it used to, Carrie lost all motivation in life. So much so that she gave up on raising her kids. The two ended up getting a divorce, and Carrie said she'll only see the kids if he makes money like he used to, and financially supports her no matter what their relationship status. Of course, her husband cut her off for prioritizing his money over her own kids, and she later fell into alcoholism and gained 150 pounds. She eventually eventually was completely broke and moved back in with her parents. I feel like my life has completely fallen apart. I don't have a job. And I was rich and gorgeous. Now I'm just broke and fat. I'm a complete riches to rag story and I don't know what to do. Number 4. Looking for Mr. Millionaire Angel called into the Dr. Phil show when she got sick and tired of her loved ones calling her a gold digger. The producers, of course, interviewed her to see why they would call her such a thing. And well, after the interview, it's crystal clear. She begins by saying she only dates people with money. If there's no money, there's no chance. My standards as far as looks are lowered. If he's got money? Yes. <laughs> She said if she can't go into a store and buy whatever she wants, then something's wrong. The minimum ring she would ever accept if a man proposed must have at least five carats on it. Did I mention she isn't rich at all, so these desires are unfathomable to everyone else who is of her status and position. Oh, and we're not even close to done yet. Angel says she needs a house that is quote unquote as big as it can get. I would need a housekeeper because I wouldn't be able to clean it alone. She said income is more important than a man's looks, and if it means he gives her more money, she can step down in her man's looks. To top it all off, she said she won't even speak to someone if they drive anything less than a BMW. Number 3. Mommy Makeover a couple appeared on the Dr. Phil show for the relationship issues, but it soon became apparent that the financial side of things was what led to their falling out. You see, the husband Chris inherited a lot of money from his parents after they passed, and he wasn't afraid to spend it, as it was his money. However, things got messy when his wife Pepper started spending his money, and a lot of it. She got herself her very own makeover. We're talking Botox, fillers, breast lifts, and a tummy tuck in procedure. This spending was so pricey that the two ended up bankrupt. Chris had to sell his car and motorbike in order to get things going again. Pepper's spending didn't stop though, and the two had to appear on the show in an attempt to fix their situation. Number 2. Mother Abandons Children for Money Three daughters contacted Dr. Phil after their mother cut off communication with them to spend her life with their new man. You're a mom, because you can't do for your kids. You. Goodbye, I love you, goodbye. Bye. <laughs> they say that she's nothing but a gold digger who uses men she meets for their wealth and status. However, things get messy when the daughters truly open up about their mother's priorities. My mother only dates men for their money. Do you think I'm trying to marry him because I'm a gold digger? Number 1. Blowing $1 million After receiving a $1 million settlement fund, Bob and Carol blew it all in just one year. Despite it being Bob's money, Carol started living differently and of course blew the money. Bob claimed she began acting different towards him, as if she was gold digging her own husband. The boobs cost us 10 grand. Best money ever spent. <laughs> she spent over $50,000 on cars, $7,000 on new teeth, $10,000 for breast augmentation, and over $10,000 on clothes and accessories. Thank you for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos on your favorite TV shows and tap one of the two videos on screen for another amazing video.